Hi and welcome. This has been a bit of a challenge for me this week. I've decided because I've been away for a couple of, of days at the weekend, I'm going to not spend any money on food. I'm going to live off what I've got in the freezer. So the challenge is, can I survive for a whole week without buying any shopping and just living on what's in the cupboards? Not much in there. <laughs> and what's in the fridge in the freezer. So let's see whether I actually made it through the week without doing any shopping whatsoever. So this is what happened. I've recorded the meals um, and how I actually uh, survived for a week of not buying any groceries whatsoever. So as you can see, the first thing I did was to do a meal plan. That's so I could identify what I was gonna eat and on which meal I was gonna eat it. And what we'll do, as we go through the week and I show you what meals I made, um, I'll identify on the meal plan where that was. So most mornings I had a mixture of, I think it's fruit and fibre with added bran flakes or bran strands, um, mixed in with either some yoghurt or some milk. So this is uh, the version with the yoghurt. So lunch on day one was a brown tuna pita bread with tuna mayonnaise, um, a little mini orange and one of those little cholesterol drinks and some crisps. So dinner on day one was a combination of steamed potatoes, steamed broccoli, Brussels sprouts with chestnuts, a steak burger, sizzled in a pan with some lovely um, onions. Lunch on day two was a really lovely pita bread with some um, triangular cheese, which is a Mark Spencer's version of Dairyly, uh, and some lovely tomato soup, which is one of my favourites. I enjoyed that. So dinner on day two was the remainder of the vegetables from day one um, with some sausages uh, and some gravy and that was lovely. Uh, I've just got back in from the gym and when I go to the gym I have to walk past all the lovely stores that uh, there's a a Greg's Bakery, there is um, a shop that sells pies and sausage rolls and all sorts of nice things. And I've got a dilemma because on my shop free week, I've got one meal that I've not catered for, which is lunch. And the temptation to go buy a sausage roll or a cheese pasty was immense and I didn't do it. So I'm dead proud of myself. Hey! So for my lunch today, um, I'm going to end up probably with making microwave chocolate cake and having something like peanut butter spread on that and maybe have some crackers and dairy lay just um, before it I don't know before or after it that's I mean I've got food in I've got stuff in the in in the fridge in the freezer I mean but that's all sort of meat like chicken and gammon and I don't really want to have to cook that at lunchtime so that was the only meal really um, because I'm away at the weekend but I'm just really proud because I haven't gone off and bought sausage rolls and pies and things like that. And, and I, you know, I could have gone and bought a, some bread buns and, you know, made a, a burger or something. But I've not bought anything. So well done to me. Yay! So here's me actually making that chocolate mug cake in the microwave. That thud, by the way, was the egg dropping on the floor. Um, but it was salvageable, uh, so it went in to the uh, the mix. Yeah. 
Well, this is going to make for a very, very interesting lunch today uh, because I haven't got a great deal left in that's lunchified. Um, I've got a lot of other things uh, in, in the freezer, but they're not really sort of lunch material. So what I've ended up with some crackers that I had left and my final chunk of Dairyly style cheese. Uh, which isn't actually dairy, really. it was from Marxy, so it's their version, which is really nice. With the final packet of crisps that I've got in the house, not really healthy, but it is what it is. And some homemade microwave um, chocolate mug cake that I whipped up this morning, covered with some peanut butter. So that's my final lunch for the no spend week. And so this is. Thursday night's meal. This is the final meal that I've needed to prepare, um, which is uh, eggs, bacon, hash browns with baked beans. Um, it's like an all day breakfast. Um, this is the final meal I've had to prepare for myself because I am actually going away tomorrow and it's a packed lunch and my mum's providing that and then my family will be feeding me over the weekend. So that's my week done of eating from the fridge and freezer and the cupboards there we are so what did you think to that week of not buying any food whatsoever and living off what was already um in the flat in the in the freezer in in the in the store cupboard etc i just about made it i do have a really well stocked freezer so that wasn't really a problem but i did run out of bread um and i did uh struggle one of the days for for, for lunch but I managed. So let me know if you want to see any kind of challenges. I'm, I'm happy to do though. I'm thinking about things like maybe shopping at Aldi challenge because I'm not really a fan of Aldi to be fair. Um, but I'd be happy to do that as a challenge. I'm also thinking about doing the too good to go challenge. I might do that one week because I've not tried that before and I've heard people saying really good things about it so that would be interesting. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my no shop weed whether you've got any experiences yourselves of that. It's been lovely having you with me and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.